Hey everyone, it's Starlight Plurs, and I have another Lush haul for you guys. I am calling this a Lush party haul. It's not that very many things because Lush, I don't know what was going on, but they had like a ton of parties going on. So let me go ahead and talk about everything. There's three different party slash events that I'm going to talk about. So I'll go ahead and start with the first one. I know a lot of you know about the Easter Donkey Odie and some of the stores, or I think all the stores, had the uh, Donkey Odie Pinata Party where they filled up a huge Donkey Odie Pinata with limited edition and rare items. So I went to that party with my friends and it was crazy at one of the stores that I went to. There was a bunch of parents that brought like a whole army of children and they just attacked that pinata. It was just the craziest thing I've ever seen. And even the management just, I think they were shocked and didn't really know like how to, how to, how to handle the children. I felt so bad for them. I don't know how, but I managed to get three little, uh, soap samples and I have absolutely no idea what soaps these are so if any of you guys out there know what these are definitely let me know uh, this pink one I thought was ring of roses at first but the more I smell it the more I don't think it's ring of roses it's a little bit more perfumey I I really honestly have no idea what this is the other one that looks Kind of like butter to me again i really have no clue what this one is and to describe the smell i still honestly don't even know how to describe that it's i don't know maybe the smells are sticking together but it's almost like like bubbles i i really don't know how to describe that this other purple one again i really don't know I don't know. I think they're all kind of smelling the same. So again, if anyone knows, you know, comment down below. And at that uh, pinata party, I picked up two new things. And one of one of the things you guys have already seen, and I will be doing a review on this. And it's the brimstone scrub that has jasmine in it, hemp seed oil, and sea salt. And I did, and I want to say this again, make sure that you put this in its individual bag because the oil did seep through the lush yellow bag. So just a FYI. The other thing that I bought is the Glorious Mud, which also did the same thing. Whatever oil is in this did seep through the yellow bag and the store bag. So make sure you put it in a separate little bag so it doesn't, you know, ruin your other stuff. Now, I had gone to a Lush store to pick up a fresh face mask, which I'm going to totally do a separate review on it because I have found my number one fresh face mask. So I'm going to do a separate review on that. But I wanted to try out this uh, mask of... Magnanimity, magnanimity. I don't, I don't really know how you're supposed to pronounce it, but um, I wanted to try this out, but I really didn't want to purchase the full size because I was going to get a fresh face mask. And the lady who was there, they were getting a shipment, I think, the next day, and she actually gave me the rest of you know the the trial size or the try me size or whatever that they have on display. So I just thought that was really nice and here's what is what's left of it. I definitely will get a few uses out of this one and the good thing about uh, the this face mask is that it doesn't expire as quickly as the fresh face mask. It looks like it lasts for for four months so you will get a few uses out of these face masks and they're not I can't remember the price but I don't think they're that much more expensive. The smell of it, like the name says, it's very, very minty. So, I don't know. Some people may like it, some may not, but I really like it. Now, another, I guess, small haul that I made. There is a user here on YouTube, and I think she actually has a new channel. So, I'm going to have to make an annotation somewhere here for her new username. Because I think she had to start over her entire um, YouTube channel. But her name, I think, was Mega Lush Love. I hope that's right. But she was um, doing a couple sales online, and I was able to take advantage of this one soap that I heard so many things, so many other gurus and lushies online or on YouTube talk about. And I always wanted to try the soap, and I saw that she had some pieces for sale, so I bought them as fast as I could immediately when I saw the video. And it's Aisha Coco. Oh. I cannot tell you guys how good the soap smells. If you have been into Lush for a while, which I unfortunately have not been, uh, and you have tried this soap and you like it, you know how good this smells. It is, 
coconut goodness. I love Trigomania and R&B, which has very, very good coconut smell. And this is right up my alley. And it has this really cute, like, pink, like, confetti on it. And it kind of reminds me of the Mrs. Whibby confetti on it. And it's so good. I got two pieces from her. So thank you so much to that uh, that user on YouTube for doing that. That is just so amazing that you did that, you know, a little bit from your, you know, your personal collection of a limited, or I guess now discontinued soap. <sighs> that bugs me so much that Lush did that, because they have like five soaps that smell like lemon and citrus, but none that smell like coconut. That is just so crazy. Oh, it smells so good. I almost like don't want to use it just because I know that I can't get it. So, oh yeah, what I was going to say, the managers from the store with the uh, pinata party felt so bad about so many adults not being able to get the, um, the free little, you know, soap things from the pinata. The management felt so bad because a lot of people, a lot of adults couldn't get anything. And my friends and I actually took someone completely brand new. We made a Lushy, another Lushy. Uh, they felt so bad that they wanted us to pick out a bath bomb and I felt bad because management felt bad so I was like no 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 you know I don't need a bath bomb I have so much but she was not going to let me walk out of the store without a bath bomb and you know I even told her well I got three pieces of soap you know I'm I'm okay but I think the pinata had other stuff in it like gorgeous samples and I don't know what else was in there but she just felt so bad, and she was so sweet that she put in my bag a, um, Twilight. So, that was just so nice. I mean, they really didn't have to do that, but I just thought that was so, so nice. But anyway, the second party that my friends and I went to, my, one of the stores in my state, it was the store's birthday party, and it was the day after Earth Day. So we went, my friends and I went to the store, and they were giving away in recycled containers, they were giving away little basil plants. It was so adorable because they had put Happy Earth Day and then like the store name on the back of it, and it just had dirt and the seeds in it, so you just sprinkle a little bit of water and it would grow a basil plant. So I gave that to my mom because she cooks more than I do, so I just thought that was a really, really cute idea. And they had little pamphlets of a local organization that... I think um, one of the employees was telling us that they are starting to volunteer with and the one that they were starting to volunteer with in my city is Trees Atlanta, which I personally think is really cool because the city that I live in takes pride in the natural trees that we have around here. They don't like to cut down a lot of trees because we are a lake community, so I just thought that was really cool. But I actually didn't buy so much at these parties. This one for Earth Day and the store's birthday, I actually bought a Lush cocktail bath for my sister because it was her birthday. I got her the Big Blue and Sunny Side, so I can't wait for her to try that. I did, however, pick up the two items that they had to donate to Japan. Um, I think my store was, not my store, my state stores were a little bit slow in getting these items. I'm really not sure because I, I saw some other subscribers on YouTube that had gotten these before, before my state did. So I really don't know how that works out. But they have um, this one soap, but I really can't remember the name of it. But this is, reminds me of Snow Cake. Is it Snow Cake? Yeah, it's Snow Cake. From the summertime, which was my personal favorite soap, not the summertime, from Christmas, which was actually my personal favorite soap from the Christmas line. I absolutely loved that soap. It's actually like one of my top favorite soaps from Lush. And this is kind of a, a really good summer version of Snow Cake. I really, really like it. It's kind of like Snow Cake with cherry in it. It's really good. And I picked up, again, for donating to um, Japanese... Quake Rehabilitation. I got the small size of Charity Pot. I actually own another one of these for Charity Pot, but I really, really like this. So, of course, it's a good cause. I wanted to pick up another one. It doesn't expire until, like, more a little bit more than a year from now. They also were giving out a little goodie bag with little samples in it. And one of the samples that was in the bag is a small sample of grass shower gel, which I actually already own a small bottle of it, but I may do a Lush giveaway in the future, so I'm going to hold on to this to add into a possible prize. And another item that was in the bag was a small sample piece of Ring of Roses soap, which I actually already own in my soap collection, so I gave that to my mother. 
one of the other samples that was in there is one of my personal favorite items, which is jungle conditioner. Yes. Another sample that I actually was really happy to get is the something on it. Uh, Tuka Tuka Massage Bar. I actually do not own this and have only tried it in the stores very briefly. So I'm really happy to get a small sample size of this. So something to try out. And one of the employees gave me a sample size of Charlotte's Island, which is a moisturizer with a tint to add on to your skin. I did use some of this in the store and it really did leave a nice, beautiful, natural looking color on me. And I have also used in the store the solid body tint. I think it's called Black Stocking. It's the darker of the two. It's a little heart shaped one. Uh, I really honestly didn't like it. I didn't think it was as smooth and creamy, you know, clearly than a more liquidy moisturizer. So this I really do like. And let me try to open it. There, that's what it looks like. It looks and it smells like chocolate with a little hint of vanilla. It smells really, really good. So definitely want to use this. I have some other Lush lotions and the only bottle that they had in the store that day was the larger of the two. So that's why I got the sample size because I didn't really want to buy the large size. Now, the last thing I want to talk to you guys about is the Lush North American For uh, Forum Party. Now some of you guys, from the majority of you guys in the U.S. at least, or the North America part, I shouldn't say U.S., Anyway, know that the online forum was celebrating their eight year anniversary. And so they had a forum party and thank you so much to, I believe it's expert on myself. I hope I got that right. Who commented on one of my videos to let me know about it when I said that Twilight had become one of my favorite ba um, bath bombs. Thank you so much because it had been a while since I had been on to the website and to the forum especially. So I probably would have found out about that like much later or not at all. So thank you so much. But they had three limited edition shower gels and one was Twilight. So I definitely wanted to take advantage of that. So I went online and placed an order while I was at work. <laughs> and when I got home, I wanted to sign on to the forum because I my computer or internet settings at work didn't let me see the forum or chat party or whatever. So when I got home, I logged on because I wanted to check it out. Because I actually have never, you know, signed on or logged on or whatever you want to call it to a forum party ever. So I logged on at work and I just wanted to check it out. And I was so touched at the number of people. There was about five or six people who contacted me through like a personal instant message or whatever. And even in the chat rooms who gave me a shout out. There was hundreds of people in the chat rooms, like 200 or more, I'm not sure. But I was so touched at the people who gave me shout outs in the chat rooms and sent me personal messages. That just made my day. And I wanted to tell you guys personally, thank you so much for your support and just doing that for those of you who did. That seriously just meant so, so much to me. I can't even express to you guys how much that means. And if you haven't seen it, I'm going to link it down below, but go definitely check out my blog because that night I actually went onto my blog and wrote a post about it. Just how much that just, it just means so much to me. Because when I first started my channel, I honestly never thought that, you know, this was really going to become anything or my videos were really going to have an impact on anyone. So when that happened, I was just so touched and like, I stayed on the forum until it was over. So, I have my phone right here. But there was a couple people, and I know I'm going to forget so many people's names because I just, I'm so sorry if I do forget people's names, but um, Agnes, you were there, so give a shout out to you, Erica J, Alice in Wonderland, and then I'm, I'm probably going to mispronounce this, but it's K-S-A-L-A-1-2-3. K-S-A-L-A? I don't really, I don't really know. And there was two other people, and I know I, I, I am probably forgetting, and I'm so, so sorry. Maybe, you know, like, if, if I remember, if I, if I, you know, get a message from you guys, you know, or something, maybe I'll add your name somewhere here, but I know I'm probably forgetting, but, um, you know who you are. <laughs> I hopefully can remember... But I just really, really wanted to tell you guys thank you. And definitely check out that post because it was just, you know, it was just so touched. And really thank you guys for your support. Um, it just means so much to me and, you know, that you guys 
leave such nice comments and everything on my videos and just, you know, I just can't say thank you enough. So that was just really, really a cool experience for me uh, when I was on the, the forum party. So, and of course I got Twilight. <laughs> of course. It smells so, so good. So yeah, um, that's my little haul. It's actually a small haul. I haven't really gotten much, but I will have another subsequent haul after this one that you'll see. So yeah, that's um, my little lush party time collective haul. But yeah, any questions, comments, or anything, just leave them down below. And um, thanks for watching. Bye.